Hey there everyone, this is Yui. Welcome to episode 4 of Glacial Awakening. Today we're going to get into some metals, so let's jump into it. Quite literally jump. <laughs> so I figured out the bellows. If you attach it to the side of say the stone kiln or probably some of the other blocks and you just jump on it, it'll increase the speed. It seems to go like twice as fast. I needed some glass, so I was just cooking up a bunch. How much is left? Oh, that's the last of it. I'm just going to break that and replace it real quick. There we go. So it doesn't burn through all the sticks. Oh, if you want flint or blue flint, the rock grinder, it gets you quite a bit. I got, what, 10 blue flint and 32 flint from a stack of sand. So turning uh, gravel into sand. That's what it gave me. So between episodes, I finished flattening the area behind the base. I put up a little wall. So it should be relatively safe at night. I shouldn't be bothered so much. We'll find out. Uh, spiders can still get over the, what is that, the east and the north side of the wall, because I didn't finish it up totally. Putting uh, slabs on the outside so the spiders can't get up. Anyways, I wanted to finish up chapter one real quick, which is just going to be a wood bucket. It's all we're missing. Oh, I already had credit for that one. My bad. I didn't see the check mark. And a seed of life. That's fine, I need a new bucket anyways. Uh, we're missing dirt. I've got plenty of dirt. There we go, chapter one done. What's in here? Oh, I, I really don't want these things. <laughs> I will... I'll take the extra grinder though. The wand's a little late, you can make... The stone building wants to help you fill out your landscape if you really want to. They only go sideways, they don't go up and down. And the potion, whatever, you know what? There, now there's nothing in chapter one to claim. We're just gonna put that stuff away. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the bucket. So the seed of life is supposed to change dirt into grass. Let's see. Might as well just use it real quick. Uh, we'll go there. Hold it. There we go. And you get a free uh, fertile soil. And some grass. Useless seed, but that's alright. I already got most of the seeds, I think. Oh, uh, a little quick tip. This button here is set by default to deposit to nearby chests. If you hold shift, it'll merge, which means any chest that has the item in it will accept the item from your inventory, not your hotkey bar. So if you take out, say, you know, just random things, like you just came back from gathering stuff, as long as it's in the chest, all the stuff will, see there's no sand in there, all the stuff will just go back to wherever you have it, so it's a quick way of sorting through your items. I always forget to show it off, I use it a lot though, at least when I'm not on camera. Alright, so let's, I uh, guess we need to go this route. What's this get us up here? Nature's... oh, okay. So, let's make the stone mill, the crucible, let's... I want to test out this grit vase. I've never played with this before. It says it automatically gathers stuff for you. So you can make a tree farm with it. I want to try it out. Let's see, we've, so we got that. We got the core, we got those. I'm going to keep that because I make it. Right, so let's make a saw. I made up the bricks already. I had a ton of masonry bricks from last time. 
and a crucible. This is what I needed the glass for. Capacity, so it's a little tank. We don't have much to store in tanks right now, though, so... We need a soaking bucket, which means we need to put the sawmill to use. Let's see, do we get anything cool? Cheap blade, and oh boy, clay. As if I don't have enough clay down here already. I went ahead and I put in the obsidian upgrades. They're pathetic. They only increase it by two times, but you know. Till we get iron and gold and stuff like that. It was the only option to expand it aside from putting down more uh, storage drawers. So let's grab, I don't know, some sticks for fuel. And we need, I know we're going to need planks, so. As we need, look at us two. No, one. Because we're using the stone. Can we make a bone one? No, that looked like smooth granite. We go back to that, where was that? Here, so let's see, saw blade. Oh, no, we can use cobble. Let's make that up real quick, because that'll be better. Come on. This has... Uh, I'll just make a bunch. Dump this stuff off. And let's go set it up. Down here with the other random junk. So it's fuel, crucible, I bet needs fuel too. No surprise. This I'm going to give there. I wonder if we can hopper these things into it. Grab a hopper real quick and test. I probably need a couple more. There we go. Oh wait. I need a couple output chests. Dang it. Shovel's not there. Oh well, whatever. Let's see here. This should be just fine. Just output them. That way we don't have to worry about it. That'll probably hopper in the fuel. Alright, let's do a quick test. You go in? No. What about from this direction? Nope. Maybe a side? I doubt it. Nope. Alright, so it doesn't look like you can automatically replace the saw blades. Not the end of the world. So much junk. My bag's already full. I need a bigger bag. Alright, so... Saw. This stuff. At least you can hop her in. And you should be able to hop her in. And then, do I got my fire starter? Yeah, it's already on my bar. Go for it. I'm going to actually just grab a little more, just in case we need it in the long run, and some sticks, because I have too many. I am not burning through sticks as fast as I thought I would. There you go, that's for you. Oh, what's this? Wood chips. 
that useful for anything? I have a shovel, let's see. Burn time. So it's... Okay, dang. Hmm. I guess they're equivalent to a stick. That's not... Can we use them for anything? Yes. I guess we'll just let them build up somewhere. Alright, what's next on the list to do? Soaking pot. We need some of these. Let's go make one of them up real quick. That's what we need to get into our bonsai trees. We're not quite ready for them yet, but we're getting there. Soaking pot can go here. A stone anvil. Does it work like a regular anvil? Yeah, okay. That's cool. I can't imagine it lasts very long. You make some ash. Toss planks on a fire. Alright, let's try it. Let's... They wanted 32. We'll do a stack. Any more wood? Let's see. Guess we'll just light the ground on fire and throw it on. Uh, over here. And then... There we go. That wasn't that bad. I have not played with the Zencraft thing. I have no idea what it is. I keep finding the crystals when I was digging out the, uh, the area. So I've got, what, a little over a stack. You done? You're done. Just replace it real quick so it doesn't... Where are these sticks coming from? That was weird. All right, let's try. Oh, can you? Oh, wow. Hey, this is new. Usually you can't craft these saplings. That, that'll be nice. So we can get automatic leaves. It means we have basically an unlimited supply of crystals without doing much effort. Alright, let's see. So we need stone kiln for this. We have some ash. Get some clay back. We're going to need a ton of these bricks, I think, so I am just going to make a lot of them. Uh, two stacks. I don't know if I have any of that flint stuff left. Wait, there it is. Uh, ref refractory. This one. Make these. Okay, quick lime is crushed limestone. Oh man, come on. Ugh. I think my thing's gonna break soon. Alright, I'll be back in a moment once I uh, get the limestone. Alright, so once you hammer up the limestone, you need to run the result through the stone kiln, and that'll get you, what is this stuff, quick lime. And then we'll just get rid of that. 
in there. All right, so with that, not there. Uh, I believe we just run it through with water. So that's a weird amount, eight per bucket. So I set this up. I don't know if this hopper will extract it. We'll find out. So. Oh, you gotta make sure to right click on the top part. Well, let's see how it does. Oh, it only takes eight. Little slow. So I'll be back in a second once it finishes. All right, and we're back. Uh, it's still going. It does auto extract and it does auto input. So if you watch this one, it's almost done. Now it'll stop, it'll pull it out, and then it'll insert more. I just come in this chest. But while that's finishing up, I wanted to test out that other thing real quick. Uh, this, the grit face. So we need soul of fire and morning star. This one and that one. I recommend setting up a grid with these. You could use a, a double chest. I'm just using a storage crate. Use a double chest, put your shards on the top. That way when you get the other cores you can put them and then match up what they make because the resultant block is always you or can always be used to remake more of it. Alright, so let's see, cobble. I already have a little bit in here. No, was that not it? That's that one. What's the other one then? A smooth stone? No, it's gravel. Okay. I uh, get the cutter out. Eight. All right. I'm just curious what this thing does. I've never actually used it before. Then we need one of these, which is just, where's the wood? Here we go. We're actually gonna need another one of these, I think. No, we're not, Never mind. When supplied. So let's, just for funsies, Throw this here. I don't know. Go on top. Hmm. Not sure how this thing works. Let's grab some saplings. And I think it said dust. Maybe the tray needs to go on top of it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe the tray goes on the front. Let's try the soil and here. No, here. Eat it. Hmm. I'm gonna look this thing up and read about it in the book. I'll be back in a moment. Alright, well I figured the thing out. I'll show you guys in a bit if we get time. So let me dump some random junk. I do actually want to get into metals. Oh. Oh. Dang it. Liquid clay, oh, stone crucible clay. Man, we still got more to do. Maybe we're not getting into iron. Let's try it out. Uh, 
This needs clay. How much do we need? 250. Uh, we'll do 30. One block should give us a stack. Or no, not a stack. Uh, four. So 30. Yeah, that's good enough. That'll melt down. Look at all the wood chips. <laughs> Not that. This. And then where's my matchbox? I don't know how I'm going to move this. Because this, unless it actually gives me that bucket. Which I highly doubt. Because this can't use it. Breaks with hot fluids. Maybe we need a different bucket. Oh, that breaks with hot fluids also. And we can't make iron yet because that's what we need the clay for. Yeah. I don't know. We'll find out. But I guess while that's going, let's go craft a couple things. The Azul block. Just crystal, clay, mysterious dust. Throw that under an amplifying tube. It'll get smooth. That's how you know it's done. Uh, you can have two to eight of these. I don't know if that's no will mess things up. It doesn't look at it because you can see the particle effects. So slow. No, you're still going. All right. There we go, that's done. Pick that up, I'll just put another one there for, for later. Let's get... We need to turn this into ingots, and we need... This. And then... Heavy block. Oh, there goes a ton more of my things. Alright. Hopper, and then... Do I have wood? Yes. Let's just make a quick storage crate. We'll see if this works. Oh no. Not done. Not done. So get yourself a spider eye. I got one already. And then... You can do... This. Mushrooms you can make with the uh, mutation paste. I'm going to use a sapling, not a piece of sugar cane. That'll get you two mushrooms. So that's how you can get mushrooms. You can make the f oh, sugar. Here we go. Make the fermented eye. And we can make one of these little things. Uh, this will plant. There's several of them. You can have them for like wheat, potatoes, carrots, beetroot, oak, birch, spruce, jungle, acacia, and dark oak. I'm just making some oak ones. What this will do is over time, it will add a sapling on top of it or a seed and then it'll grow up. I don't need that. I need mysterious fertilizer. All right, how's this looking? Well, it's got clay in it. This has water. I think we'll have to break this. You clear now? Yes. Alright, let's see if this breaks like it says it will. No, it seems okay. And one more. I'm pretty
pretty sure liquid clay would be pretty hot. And then we put in the flint. I believe it was the flint. There we go. We'll let that go. Alright, so this doohickey, you put it down. I'm giving it a white list of only breaking oak logs. Then we're gonna just plant these guys here. Over time, they'll get a sapling, so no big rush. I don't know the range of this thing. Far enough is the answer. So we can probably just put it to the side. I'm going to put it over here. Feeding into that crate. Where to go? This will just be a tiny automated. Uh, it should pick up still from here. I put it on top, right? Maybe. Maybe if we put it up a block. Yeah, that should work. Alright, so now this thing, you give it the mysterious fertilizer up to five. That's three, four, five. So the bigger it is, the bigger the range is that it'll break these blocks. So for example, I also moved my fertile soil over here so we can speed along the process. And there, so it'll break them. And then all the drops will go to this gravity block. Oh, landing on top of it's going to be a problem. That's all right. It doesn't matter that much. Oh, it solved itself by planting a tree there. So this should reach up high enough, I believe. We'll see. Oh, it only goes above it. I'm going to have to put this underground. Yeah, definitely. Give me this stuff back. Alright, so above it only. This and... Uh, no. I don't like it like that. You can go back on the side. And then... Fertilizer. There, that should work. Otherwise, it wasn't going to get the base, which will be a problem. Let's see if it gets it high enough. Let's get this out of the way. Well, there you go. So it's a cheap little automatic wood farm. Nothing super fancy. All right, let's go check on this real quick. I don't think we're getting to iron because it's it's already in a while. 16, let's see what we can make with that. Because we're making these. That's not that bad. And then I believe we just cook these up in the kiln. Light it up. How far are we? Oh uh, yeah, we're... No, I'm, I'm making iron. We're, we're going to run a few minutes late, so I'll be back in a second. Alright, so I made some of the bricks up. Let's quickly make a bonsai tree. If you're not familiar with these, it's going to be another way of automatic wood, basically. I'm just going to put it here. Give it... Oh wait, we get a sapling for that. Yeah. I will actually set that up. It wanted mysterious dust, I believe. Where's my dust at? 
There we go. I'm not going to say no to that. You just plant the soil it wants, you put the sapling on there, it'll grow up over time. And then once it does, it'll automatically harvest it and output it into the inventory below. Alright, let's let's do this real quick because I really want some iron. Oh. Mechanical. Here. I guess it just... Oh, you're facing the wrong way. Or does it do all four sides? That should work. Alright, so if we get... Oh, there we go. Got the achievement, so it should have grown up and dropped its things down here. Let's grab some iron, see if this works. Not that way. There. Oh! It's going. Okay, so... Y I don't want it to go all the time. This should go in here, I believe. Just one at a time. Oops, this is still going. Give it some sticks. Try this out. Maybe. Oh, there it goes. Let's put you back and... I don't know. You'll... Hey, there it goes. A little slow. A lot slow. Alright, I'll be back in a second when, it, when it's done. Alright, it's almost done. Uh, I would probably recommend keeping this away from something flammable because it seems to shoot out the slag stuff which you just pick up with your pickaxe. Alright, how do we get this out now? Oh wait, error. That's not good. I guess that'll work. Oh! I'm on fire! There we go. Ah, the trick is uh, generally anything that lights you on fire can be thrown in your backpack. What do we do with this now? We hammer it a bunch of times. Give me this. And hammer. Oh, my anvil broke. Oh no. But we got iron nuggets. So there's our first piece of iron. It wanted four. Oh well. At least you know how to do it now. So, we didn't quite get as far as I was hoping. And I'm not sure how to extract that stuff. I'm going to try it with the hopper and stuff. We'll find out. But I'm going to make more iron between episodes because we're probably going to need a lot of it. Anyways, that's about it for this episode. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.